Welcome back to Block TV. This is, well, it's time for Suck My Blockchain. Every day we scour the web for the best from the crypto and blockchain community and we bring it to you. Joining us in studio today to bring it all over is Iran Spitzer. Iran, what's trending? So what's better than a crypto debate? And that was started on the cryptocurrency subreddit page about EOS of all things and the con uh, and kind of their controversial ICO that was run. Um, so the post asked, why did EOS ICO need to raise over four billion US dollars? What have they done with it? Good Those question. are all really great questions. One commenter sarcastically answered, they made a constitution for a blockchain and a council of about eight people who can decide to reverse immutable transactions and creatively uh, and cre creatively writing an internet constitution is expensive you know um i suppose so if they needed four billion dollars it must be clearly um, yeah, that, that would be one heck of a constitution okay uh, another gave us a more kind of reasonable response that they didn't need it they put out their coin early to take advantage of arbitragers they probably bought nice cars and mansions that one makes sense to me. Um, and some just decided to make light of the situation by writing uh, the foundation of EOS probably have this thread open on a laptop inside their yacht on their second <laughs> cruise of the year, laughing at the fact that this question even needs to, to be, be asked. asked. Four score and some, some years ago, yes. So no four billion needed, apparently. That's the consensus. Okay, when what next? Yeah, so uh, somebody got their sister one Bitcoin for their birthday, which I think is great. So the best Big Brother award obviously goes to this guy who got one BTC for her birthday. Um, and as excited, he was excited in his excited post, he writes, this weekend was my sister's 30th birthday. I bought her a ledger loaded with one Bitcoin. She was over the moon when she found out how Do much it really was valued think so? At. I mean, hold on one second, because I'm just thinking, it, it, it seems like he's really getting excited about it. But the sister's probably walking around with a t-shirt saying, I'm 30 and all I got is a Bitcoin. But okay, yes. Might well, be sense. He, he writes, I mean, I mean, he does say that she was over the moon when she saw how much it was valued at, which means that she doesn't know how much it was once valued at, right? <laughs> That's why she's so, so excited about this. Um, so amongst the comments were some predictions, like the following one that says, flash to year 2020, Bitcoin is priced at 50K. She could finally pay off 1% of her student debt. <laughs> <laughs> the sister breaks into tears as she opens the ledger. Balance reads zero. Somewhere her bro brother boards a plane to the Bahamas. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Don't forget that, guys. Proof of keys, not your key, not your Bitcoin. Not your key, not your Another. Bitcoin. <laughs> but maybe still, come on, let's not be so um, you know, so sarcastic. Maybe it's the best brother, you know, gift ever. Right? But he, look, this commenter thinks he's gonna run away as the price goes up. So maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> it was okay. for himself. Moving along. Another, so another commenter asked if he would be angry if she decided to sell, and he sweetly actually replied that nobody would be disappointed, which was so sweet. And of course, there was the kind, uh, the kind commenter who added, I suspect you have great timing. So this guy definitely feels good about his gift. Entirely so, Big Brother Award goes to him. Yes, yes. and? In JP Morgan coin news. <laughs> Is it a scam? Is it not a scam? So the JP Morgan coin is really the most controversial thing in the crypto sphere right now. Um, and Box Miner on YouTube uploaded a video telling us why it's a scam. Let's take a look at some of that. So I've been thinking about the JP Morgan coin a lot. And the more I think about it, the more I realize it's such a big scam. Uh, and it just blows my mind how these big banks can get away with something like this. So, so let's start at what why. I mean, the problem they're trying to solve is global payments. They handle trillions of dollars of payments and they make money from that. So they charge clients money and well, they spend a little bit of money and charge clients a lot of money. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to use a form of cryptocurrency, use blockchain to essentially cut the cost of that. So they're using new technology to cut costs for clients. But there's a big problem, which is the fact that why are they charging this amount of money in the first place? I mean, it makes sense if you think about it, if they move physical money around. I mean, if they had to physically ship US dollars around globally, fine. I wouldn't mind paying a $20, $30 fee and maybe even a percentage fee. But at the end of the day, with modern banking in the digital darn age, 
They don't. They don't do that. They just send a digital IOU. They're essentially sending an email. Aron, I love this. The only thing that I feel for this guy is his naivete. It blows my mind that banks are lying or out there for, you know, their own profit. Yeah, and, and he actually does go deeper in the video. It's a four-minute video, and he goes into detail about the fact that the company was accused of money laundering in the past, and amongst other things um, that they were accused of in the past, he poses the question, how did they still have their banking license, uh -huh. um, even? And commenters... You can ask that about so many banks around the world, but yeah, okay. Well, commenters <laughs> chimed in with their opinions, naturally. Um, one, uh, will, uh, one willingly uh, wrote, works great for the 1%, and they charge fees because they can't can. There are two sets of laws, rich and poor people laws. Example, you don't pay taxes, you go to jail. They don't pay taxes, it's just a tax loophole. Yeah. Corporate welfare, okay. Poor people welfare, frowned upon, not okay. Um, this next comment was also clearly written by, by, this was one was clearly written by an idealist actually. So they wrote, this is going to be their undoing. Seriously, it will be their undoing. Once their clients realize they can do it, what's going to stop them from doing it? Banks are going to, banks are going to come undone. Um, which is very idealistic. No, I mean, idealistic, banks are not going to come undone. Stretch, um, yeah, you know. banks, they're not, this is not their undoing. People are no, not no, going on to... The company, they're jumping in the bandwagon or not, or hyping it for their own sake, but... Yeah, yeah and, and so actually the next commenter is much more of a realist in this case, and he said, some people don't want to be responsible for their own money. They want, they want the banks to have their money and the government to insure it. Um, so that's Half more of a realistic thing, yeah. right? Yeah. They don't care how they're doing it as long as it's done. that's kind of what's happening. Okay, and? So the crypto first was ecstatic about the recent wave of green that took over on Monday. And uh, so somebody posted the following picture on Reddit and posted, been a while, hasn't it? Um, quickly people began to ponder and one commenter asked, and we really don't have any clue as to why it went up. Uh, today, do we? Um, so I would recommend watching our traders take on Black TV and listening to Alex Harper actually give his explanations on those for that. But there are reasons and we do ponder them here all the time. Good plug. Yeah. And? I try. Um, <laughs> another commented that President's Day could have been the reason for the change in the market. Um, and another actually replied to that I'm wondering comment. how that connects. Um, uh, is, yeah, actually you would think the opposite, right? Exactly, because everybody's at home and nobody's really doing anything. Okay, um, yeah. But maybe people are trading and that's kind of what they're, they're thinking here. And somebody actually commented to that with, can confirm everyone at Wall Street is bored as fuck. Um, actually tagging the Wall Street subreddit. The Wall subreddit. Street among guys. Okay. <laughs> so I guess they're bored over there and they decided to go into crypto today. And? Crypto ATMs are everywhere. We've spoken about this a bunch. Oh, yeah. um, but it seems to be the thing to do is if you catch a store or an ATM anywhere in the world, people take a picture of it and obviously post it on social media. And I decided to collect those posted just from the last 12 hours just to give an idea on how crypto is doing worldwide. Um, the first one I found is located in Miami and the poster actually writes, only in Miami, saw this while getting gas in a pretty rough neighborhood. Don't know why they would have to mention the rough neighborhood, um, but only in Miami, no. This whole thing is based on the fact that this is everywhere. So not only in Miami, actually the next one was found in Canada uh -huh. and the post- Look at how much cleaner it is. Canadian. Yes, okay. <laughs> the poster wrote, seen some people posting photos of these, figured I would also, which is obviously what Everybody is. That's how you get the notion figuring. that Bitcoin ATMs are everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Um, the next one was found in Poland. So we're going past the Americas <laughs> into Poland. Um, and and they saw the sign and everything. And it's super nice. No, I love it. I want to talk about the design. It's very old continent. Okay. Yeah, they're yes. really like, they're, they're blinging out on Bitcoin um, in there. And the last one I found uh, was from a fine dining. This is what they say in the post. Fine dining burger joint in Brazil so hey, you can use crypto in a lot of places in Brazil while while having your um, uh, while having your burger your, bur your fine dining burger oh Ron Spitzer unbelievable uh, thank you so much for all of that that was um, uh, suck my blockchain which I just wanted to say once again um, and of course for all of us all of you do not forget to check us out on every social platform block TV on Facebook Twitter telegram write us we answer and we'll be right back <laughs>